Random rare relic, remove a card, max HP. If this is a dead branch, then... That's not bad. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. But okay, this is it, guys. This is the run. The path is really nice. The path is really nice. All right, this is the run. I was gonna give up. I got a gambling chip. I got a nice path. I'm gonna focus. We're gonna try hard. All right. This is it. Tryhard relic required. That's what that's what my gambling chip is. It's a tryhard relic. Headbutt dual wield already packed. Take a naked headbutt. A naked headbutt all day. What's up, Highland? Enoch? The mulligans are great. Yeah, okay. I it, it really bothers me when I get offered war cry five thousand times in a row. Ah, something about it is just like, no, no, that's no, okay. It doesn't bother me. You gotta expect the unexpected. When you when you remove expectations, that is when you're truly happy in life. And in Slay the Spire, because you're not expecting anything, then hey, war cry. Well, that that's exactly what I expected because I didn't expect anything at all. Take a barricade, and boom! I was talking about unexpected stuff. I got a barricade. Bam! Just like that, I got a barricade. Looks like we can do a barricade deck. I'm, I'm, I'm down. Now, if, we, now if we're talking about Lagavulin, well, like, not, not to mention because we have gambling chip with the barricade. So right now the barricade is a little awkward, right? But later on we got gambling chip barricade as an archetype, pretty foolproof. Now of course we need to find all the cards, but to get it this early it means we have a lot of time to craft. So we're looking for things like. Entrench, Body Slam, Flame Barrier, just good blocks in general. Please change my my profile picture. What profile picture? My Twitch profile picture? <clears throat> we got a True Grip, Metallicized, and Pommel Strike. Hmm. Power size, true grit. A twitch pick? How much twitch pick cook bitty? This is uh this is live on the beta branch, it's not a mod. Accumulation of small advantages is true, but true is pretty good to kind of make the deck smaller and smaller for eventually getting, you know, like, let's say we have Body Slam or Entrench, we just true it down to like Entrench and like a few other cards. But Metallic is probably better right now. And true is common, so we, we can assume that we're going to find more of it, but I think true grit is pretty good. your opinion <laughs> super yacht uh it's funny and i did that neutral times because i was just like trying to do what was like going trendy at the time but i was always like 
a gamer and playing games, but... Yeah, the Rogue Challenge was something I just tried to get at the time. Lenny, you do this stuff on purpose, don't you? I think Inflame is probably... Like, Shrug It Off is really good with Barricade, but I think Inflame is probably just better. You never ever pick Trigger? Oh, Trigger is one of the best Ironclad cards in the game. Because when you upgrade it, you get to choose what you exhaust. It's, it's uh, absolutely amazing. Oh my god. Wow. Ah, oh, that was a mistake. I shouldn't... Mm. Uh, Trigger is amazing, guys. Trigger is absolutely amazing. So close. So close. We have the next like, turn, so how about we just try to block as much as we can? Damn, so close. We have the next turn, so if we do shrug it off, defend weak pot. We have me and the bone, right? So we can take a little bit of damage, right? And get me and the bone for the rest. And then we kill him for sure. Not bad. Me and the bone. Oh, and magic flower as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got disarmor body slam. Jesus Christ. Body slam is going to be really good with barricade, but disarm is going to help us. Like, okay. Okay. This deck is getting really good. Really fast. Close line for the weaken. Bronze skills for the damage. Oh man. Bronze skills is really good too. Is it more important than the weaken? I would say so, man. I would say so. Yeah, this deck's getting really good really fast. Flower makes it so that uh, healing is 50% more uh, effective during combat. So things are like me and the bone, 50% more effective. Your black blood, burning blood rather, is 50% more effective so you can heal for 9. Uh, me and the bone becomes 18 healing. And things like reaper or any like region pots, even region pots, get 50% more effective. So it's very, very strong. But particularly because we have me and the bone and burning blood. So we can play a very like aggressive style. Of silent, I'm sorry, of ironclad. Or what we can do is kind of wait for barricade, take some hits, and then we'll heal back up, no problem. So we kind of do want to get like metallicized and barricade out. Yes, we're gonna get the the debuffs, but it should be fine. Well, would it be though? Shit, dude. That's going to be 15. We're literally one damage off. But the first hit, ah, we're going to be one damage off. It sucks. Okay. All right, but we got, we got all our powers out. And so the rest should be smooth sailing. We got disarm out as well. And boom. That's it. We won the fight. It's going well, Naku. How you doing, buddy? Haven't seen you in a long time. Well, I was getting my ass kicked a little bit on Ascension 20, to be honest. But this, this is the final run that I'm doing. This is like, this is it. It's not only a more broad progression of abilities, it also means that the abilities are more uh, tougher. So, for instance, you know Laga Bowling removes one strength and one dexterity? Well, in Ascension 18 plus, uh, it becomes removing two strength, two dexterity, right? So the birds, instead of having three flights, which means you have to hit them three times to knock them down, they have four flight. You have to hit them four times to knock them down. Uh, things like that, right? So things that would give you negative effects or things that give them positive effects are boosted up. And that's what makes it harder. So things like the, when it comes to the bosses having more impactful abilities, um, the debuffs are worse. The self buffs are harder. The minion spawning is, you know, all those kind of things. 
And so, for instance, uh, let's look at the, the diaper beam man. So the guy who does diaper beam, usually he gets stunned. Now he doesn't get stunned after he does his diaper beam. So things like that, man. Been playing Magic Arena. So uh, one of our viewers, I, I forgot. I think Ace Clowns. He gave me a, a beta code to do Magic uh, the Arena. Do you recommend it, Not Q, to do some Magic Arena? No, I haven't beat 20 yet. Nope. Exhum, Offering, and Reaper. Offering's pretty nice just to get the barricade out and get things going. Yeah, Exhum is really good for Disarm, but yeah, I think Offering's the play. Market Pain. Black Star. We'll take the Market Pain. We want the Energy Relic. Maybe we'll get an Evolve. Look for an Evolve. Hmm. You play with, so you can play without spending money. Really, that's that's nice to hear. I'm just going with flower, yeah, but I, I don't really like. I already have meat in the bone, burning blood. I'm not going to take a reaper over offering because it doesn't really do that much for me. My deck is mainly a defensive deck. And yeah, reaper works with magic flower, but okay, doesn't not much else. If you spend money, you'll get it all back when it's res a reset for release. Really? That's cool. So I can go ham, spend a lot of money, and get it all back? Yeah, but Strom's fantastic, dude. Strom's nuts. So right now, what's really carrying us is not only the metallicism, but also the... Um, the Bronze Scales is doing a lot of damage for us, but also the Inflame. The Inflame is doing a lot of our damage. Shockwave, Carnage, Cleave. Let's do Shockwave. Now, again, what we want to do is get a Body Slam. Which shouldn't be too hard, because it is... Well, we got Panacea. Now, Panacea is pretty good for the Chosen. It's good for... Certain things like certain Potions. It's good for the Champ, but not really that... I think maybe Funeral Pain just to get more block. Like once we get, so once we get a true grit, we have phenol pain out, true grit, barricade, we're getting a lot of block. I, I neglected the barricade. Sorry, I neglected the phenol pain before. How about this? We'll move strikes. Alright, but we do want to get a true grit. We do want to get a true grit. Because I neglected both a true grit and a body slam. Because I figured they're common, I could find them. Hmm, this is. I'm probably not going to be able to kill these guys. I don't have the damage. I don't have the damage for this shit. I'm going to join it, but I should probably try that. Yeah, you should. Yeah, knock it. Go for it, dude. You should definitely try it. <clears throat> well, thank God we got magic flower and healing because we're not killing these guys. Maybe I can kill the guy on the right. Maybe I can kill this guy too. We'll see. Yikes. Is that girl on the right? I don't know. I didn't look close enough. Boom. Back to 53 life. Just like that. Shrug it off again. This is also another fight that I would say, like, what's it called? Funeral Pain would have been nice. Mm, maybe I should have done Dexterity Pot. This fight is a little rough. Yep, he goes back to his old... It's funny, because the Chosen went back to the... Oh, I should have named Flame first. Whoops, order. The Chosen went back to the old RNG. Remember before it was, like... Some bullshit ass, like, debuff into attack into, like, vulnerable. Well, yeah, that's basically what they did. This guy's gonna die to attacking me, then.
Oh man, yeah, funeral pain would have been nice. Okay, we have a little breather. We gotta thank God for uh, me and the bone. Back to 51. Okay, no problem. Body slam. Okay, that's one one component. Got a body slam. Helps our damage department. We got a disarm. This is fantastic. Yes, offering hurts, but again, we have magic flower, all, all the stuff. We can manage it. Nah, you can do it. You can do it, not Q. You can do it, dude. Body stem changes so much. Yep, body stem makes this deck much better. Now we just need like an entrench or something. We're killing it. Battle trance. Oh my. Oh my lord. Let's upgrade the body slam. I can probably do an elite now. I'm feeling a little bit confident. I'm like, damn, I got myself a body slam. Let's go for an elite. He says reluctantly and perhaps foolishly. Little did he know around the corner. Well, never mind. That's a really good first turn. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh god. Okay, yeah, I'm not scared about a damn thing. Who, me? Yeah, I'm not scared. So, there was potential to be scared, but then we got that amazing opening hands. I mean, gambling chip causes great first turns, right? It's the beauty of it. Let's just kill this guy. This guy's a beast, man. This guy is actually... This guy is pretty beastly in Ascension 20. Like, he does... His strength gain is insane. Yeah, I don't want to fuck with this guy much longer. Let's, let's get this guy out of the way. Get out of here. Evolve. Mmm. Exhum. Exhum is pretty good, right? Offering again. Disarm again. Exhum is the play for me, man. Your pillow is nice if things get hairy. So far, things are pretty good. Um, Shrug it off. Yeah, I think Shrug it off is pretty good. Happy with that. Good block. Go for another elite. Ooh, do we want to do this? Mm, if it's not going to be really pissed. Okay, that's okay. I say I'd be pissed because I had a deck that was perfect for Nekonamakan, and then to get it in this deck where I don't want it at all, it's kind of like a slap in the face. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does feel like a win. 100% feels like a win. And the magic fighter doesn't work with resting, just combat. But uh, but we have regal pillows, so it's like we have a magic flower when we're resting. So either way, we got nice pillows and flowers. So we're gonna be getting healthy everywhere we go.
or recalc on low. This place takes <laughs> this takes place in a chick's bedroom in, in Valentine's Day. It's why like it's weird. It's called Slay the Spire, but it's it's really just a twisted love story. Man, that headbutt body slam combo? Oh my. Mmm. Can I get the remove the strikes part and not the bites part? Mmm, thank you very much. Not yet, Cypriot. They said that they got my they said they said they got my application. They said that they received my application. Now I don't really need to upgrade offering because we already have Centennial Puzzle, so we actually get six six card draw from offering. But uh do we like the shockwave from more vulnerable weekend? I think we like shrug it off, right? Because just maximize our blocks. <laughs> yeah, if you're tired, man. If you're tired, Gungeon can kinda of kick your ass a little bit. This well, I got a barricade for free anyways. The champ, I'm sorry, but the game just wanted you to die. The game said, fuck this guy. Take this and take that. Nice, Cypriot. Yeah, Huntress is the beast. She's the beast knees. A double barricade. The strats are real. I'm not gonna do any more body stems though. Let's make sure we get a nice little bit of uh, block before we go. Go to him there. But I will bring that sugar up back. Hell yeah. Um, um, um. It looks super difficult. It it's got a little difficulty curve to it. All right, we'll hit him now. Can you change at any part? Yeah, dude. You just walk over to the other ones, and you can change. You can pick your person. You know, you can change between. So when you die, you can go ahead and pick a new one, right? So the pilot has some interesting perks. I kind of do offering again. Probably should have, huh? Yeah. That's whatever. That, w that wasn't worth it at all. Holy crap. What an offering. What a... Wow. Was I premature in what I did here? I feel like I'm going to be... Sorely, sorely, sorely hit in the face with his execute. I don't know. I might have been a little premature. My mom always said, don't be premature, but sometimes I can't help it, mother. Why is your mom telling you about that stuff? I don't know. It's a weird relationship. Jeremy, I'm a little bit worried about you. Yeah, but like, he gets rid of my kill move as well. No, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. GG. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, we got another barricade. Or oh, we got Juggernaut. No, Juggernaut's kind of unnecessary. Yeah, it gives us some damage, but like... Who cares? It's like, I'm gonna skip here. It's so unnecessary. I think all I want to do is remove some of these strikes, get an entrench, we win the game, right? Don't necessarily need the entrench. It would definitely help. Like, Juggernaut just gives me more damage, but like, that's not what I want. And if it's the Awakened one, you definitely don't want another power, right? And we are fighting two bosses because it's Ascension 20. So since you're fighting two bosses, you definitely don't want, um... Juggernaut, that's doing nothing for you, right? Now, we can get energy, five energy, and we can get one card selection, or we can get just more sustain at the campfires. Now, here's the thing. I think sustain's better, but... Uh, we find Donor Deca, which means we're going to fight Donor Deca, and then probably Awaken one or Time Eater, we'll see. Either way, if I get an Entrench, maybe get some good blocks that go to the armor, I'm totally happy here. I should have done a shockwave there. Whoopsies. Um, um, is it See, offering's okay because we do have burning blood, meat and bone, and magic flower, right? So, even though offering is a little bit nerfed, I can handle it. Let's 
So only double bars on third act, yep. Damn, that was a lot of shrug it off. So if I had five energy, I could do more with my turns because of the, all the shrug it off I have. Okay, we gotta get the bodies in ASAP. Because otherwise, I'm gonna lose on my block, and then I'm gonna feel like I can't kill him. And things get sad. Shit. Shit, dude. Okay, let's get that out of the cycle. Get it out of the cycle, man. I should have played just since the beginning. My bad. I apologize. Shit. That was closer than I wanted it to be. True Grit. Finally, the True Grit has arrived and it's already upgraded. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye, it's love at first sight. <clears throat> oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Let's take a second to, you know, ponder and take a look at... Oh, Bam! Ray skin with love the, the two-month resub. Love the streams. Slay that spy, bro. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the support. Thank you for the resub. Welcome to the Drimple. Back to the Drimple. God, I ruined that whole thank you thing. Get rid of the wounds. I remember those wounds. I don't have barricade out. That sucks. That's five slime, bro. You're insane. Five slimes. Boom, 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 boom. I'll do black pot. Just because I want to perfect it. You know what would be nice? If this guy gives me anchor. I would love it. Yeah. Good split. Good split. Good split. That's a split. That's what I'm talking about. No, you can still get perfect because offering they, they took away the self damage yourself to get rid of perfect. Sharon's ashes. Hey, I didn't think about that one. We got power through. Kind of nice. It's a nice way to get some good block. Oh, thank you for those two little uh, little bits. Thank you, buddy. Power through is nice if we had a evolve. I don't. Otherwise, I don't think we need it. Yeah, I don't think we need it. We do get the true grit. We just got the yeah. I mean, true grit and power through is not bad. But like. At the same time, I don't know, because I can't true, I can't keep up with the wounds. That as this this fight is actually bad for me, guys. This fight is really bad for me because yeah, this fight's really bad, guys. Extremely bad because what I'm trying to say is um, my deck's a little slow. And these guys are a little relentless, and they're adding a lot of wounds, and just a, just a lot of bad things about this fight. Alright, so let's do that, 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 that. Okay, I think we stabilized. Alright, by doing that, we stabilized for sure. That helps us out. Ah, man, relentless, dude. So we can do body slam, headbutt, bring it back, smack him up, boom. Now I didn't stop to consider the fact that I could have also done, I could have done body slam, headbutt, body slam on this guy. But whatever, I'm happy with how that worked out. No, it's not a rip. Hmm, these wounds though, I don't know, could be. A lot of wounds. It's funny, if I play Corruption, I can exhaust all my sh skills and get Sharon's Ashes. That could be a last moment thing to do. Boom. 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 Yeah.
There you are, buddy. I've been looking all over for you. Nah, she spawns two minutes for turn. I mean, this fight is just... That's kind of crazy. But we did it. We're through. Close line for the weekend. I would, would like the weekend, wouldn't I? We would, we would like a weekend, wouldn't we? Do we want a weekend, though? Because it's like... I would rather get an entrenched, but a weekend could be nice to buy me some time, right? If, only, if I can get rid of all the strikes and take the weekend, I would take it in a heartbeat. But the fact that I have four strikes and a close line is going to feel awkward. Welcome back, um, SCD. I think the weekend is pretty good, guys. No, Buffalo is a good card. I like Buffalo Blood, but it's probably bad in this deck. I'll do close, man. Hmm, might regret that. Yeah, the minions hit hard, man. She spawns them, like, left and right center all the time. It's relentless. That fight is really hard, man. That fight is really hard. That gave me a lot, that fight gave me a lot of trouble in Ascension 18. That fight is no joke. Offer it again? Nah. Part of me wants to get me and the bone activated, but I had to get down to 34 for that. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Actually, I could do headbutt on the true crit. Get rid of the, the wounds. Beautiful. Gorgeous. No, I don't think... I don't... I don't think, um... You don't even need to get a brutality rupture deck for... Or combust or any of that stuff for for what's it called for blood for blood blood for blood is just you're probably gonna take damage more often than not on ironclad it's just a nice attack metallicize dual wield true grit all right metallicize it's another power so if we're going against awaken one i'm not gonna want to play it right and we got to think about that because we're gonna play donor deca okay it's fine for donor deca but for the awaken one i'm definitely not gonna play that unless we have entrenched and then it doesn't doesn't matter the dual wield for double body slam could be a good way to like Finish the game. So if I do do real body slam, bam, 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 smack him up, big execute. Again, entrench would be good for both of those things. Another true grit is not bad to kind of keep mid uh, getting rid of these these strikes. So I think I do true grit. <laughs> Aside from everything else, let's go ahead and upgrade. All right, what do you got for me, elite? Mmm, a big head. He's a big head. He's a big headed boy. I need barricade that ASAP. ASAP barricade, please. No, not like this. I think I'm gonna berserk, guys. Get the energy. Mm -mm. Uh, getting barricade super late is pretty bad because I need to get as much block built up early on as I can because I don't have entrench and I can't keep up with this guy. You know what I'm saying? So this is pretty bad. Pretty damn bad. You know, I could have saved the exhum for the offering, but I'm trying to. Bro, where the hell is Barricade? You're so late. You came right when the guy's attacking for a shit ton. That's so bad for me, guys. It's so bad for me. Because I, I won't be able to keep up with this guy because I don't have any trench. Shit, dude. This might be a rip. All because of Barricade was at the bottom of my deck. Oh my god. You're savage. I'm wish maybe I should have saved Exhum. Okay, that's not bad. 108. Let's do that again. Do that again. Come on. Do that again. A couple more times.
Back to square one. No, no block. Okay. Mean the bone coming through, baby. Mean the bone coming through. Holla at your boy. That's a weaken. I like it. Alright, I do like it. Um, I like it. Do I, do I want to trigger the defense? No. Hmm. You gotta be shitting me, bro. Oh my god, dude, we're down with one HP. Bro, let me get lethal, please. Don't do this shit to me. Not like this, I'm too young. I've got too much to live for, dude. I've got too much to live for, man. Don't tell me you're gonna kill me right now. 19. 19 is... 41 plus 4 is 45. I don't have enough luck. I just realized I think I'm fucked. And I just realized definitely fucked. Bro, if I did the shrink pot, oh man. Alright, resetting. Fuck that. It's science. Barricades, I'm still at the bottom of my deck, alright? Let's talk about that. Like, let's talk about that for a second, how Barricades at the bottom of my goddamn deck. I also did exhume for disarm. I felt like maybe I should have done it for uh, offering. But okay, we'll just do it, do it again. Oh, let's go for the weekend again. Actually, I like that. I like that. Yeah, this fight is such a pain in the butt, man. Um. We do off nah, we're gonna do offering on better turn than that. Let's get rid of the wound. Let's get rid of Yeah, I'll get rid of like the bad stuff this time. Melon Melon Dryu. Thanks for the follow. Oh, I should have done Trugit on the bash. Ah, uh, damn. I just lost an opportunity there. So we got Headbutt. So we can Headbutt the Trugit. Offering. Get rid of some of these strikes. We got the Weaken again. We got Trugit again. Get rid of some of these strikes again. I can go for the Weaken and for the Body Slam. Mmm, baby. Mmm, baby. And we're trooping so much more this time, so we're actually getting ahead because we're making the deck much cleaner. Like, look at that. Get rid of that bad boy. Let's go bring back the shrubs. Double shock move is much better than disarm, too. One, two, three. Yeah. Science. Offering number two, Flame Barrier. Mm, offering number two or Flame Barrier? I kind of like the Flame Barrier, but Offering number two kind of gets everything going. It makes sure I get the Barricade out, and then from there we just kind of win. But Flame Barrier is like... Oh, man. Damn, Flame Barrier upgrade is pretty good. Just like it in Trench. But I kind of like the Offering as well. Kind of just like... It's just another card in my deck that allows me to find the barricade as soon as possible. 
You just got Ascension 4 with a defect, creative eye deck. If you're really good, eight hey, awesome Oxy. Congrats, bro. I don't know what the second act three process is, no, it doesn't show me. It doesn't show me. I think offering's probably better. Hmm. Oh my. So this is a situation where like we need to find barricade ASAP as well. Otherwise Otherwise things are I don't have entrench either guys. Oh shit, I don't have entrench. I mean sorry, I don't... yeah man, I need entrench guys. Otherwise this is like monk I S. Gotta do that. I need true grits. I need true grits to get rid of oh, that's another offering? Jesus Christ. Uh count me in, dude. Count me in. Um Fuck it, count me in. Get rid of these wounds. Bring back the uh, shrugs. That's another true grid, isn't it? Yep. Get, count me in. Get rid of this wound right here. Uh huh. Keep the weakened going. That's not bad. Well, no. Let's get let's get full block. Actually, how about this? We do body slam. Headbutt the body slam. As long as we keep doing headbutt body slam, we can probably mitigate a lot of this guy's damage. You know what I'm saying? As long as we keep that up. Let me drop back into it. Let me drop back into it. Woo! Let's go, baby. And then we headbutt it again to do it again. Oh my. Woo! Transient. Get fucked. Get fucked. Okay, headbutt again. Nah, nah, we're gonna skip, skip, skip. Um, letter opener's not bad. We could do an elite. Um, actually, that last elite was kind of scary. I'd rather go for the shop. We do have a lot of gold. Shop is definitely the play. Definitely the play. Give me barricade, guys. Give me barricade. Por favor. Let's get rid of that strike. Man, I need entrench. What I would do for entrench right now. You know, you know, like what you do for a Klondike bar? Ooh. I'll do offering. We have, yeah. We have, we have magic flower and all that other shit. Oh my god, we got rid of three strikes in one turn. That's like, oh, that's amazing, dude. That's a Klondike bar? So you never heard of that? What would you do for a Klondike bar? Is that just me? What? That's an American thing. That American thing? Is that what it is? My American came through? Jeremy, stop being so damn American right now. Have you, ever, have you heard about uh, how many licks does it get, take to get to the center of a Twitchy pop? Or, like a Twitchy roll. I, I, I screwed it up. Basically, similar concepts. One involves what will you do, and the other one involves licking. And sometimes they're the same thing. Oftentimes they're the same thing. Oh, uh, we do. Pro yeah, this, inf this flame is pretty bad, yeah. But it's got, it got me this far. Armaments. Armaments to get everything upgraded. Nah, I think we're good. Go for that shop. Do we want this? Maybe. Enlightenment. Oh, Dark Shackles is pretty good. Hand agreed. This looks so sexy, guys. Oh, man. Dark Shackles. Blinds for the AoE weaken and gets rid of the artifacts or Dark Shackles again. <laughs> Dark Shackles all day, baby. 
Well, sometimes Borrowed Tornado would be good, and then other times we just get, you know, Gambling Chip and hope for the best. You know what would be really good, though? Bag of Prep, because Bag of Prep would allow me to get a really big opening first turn. I could have done Offering, but I did sit Battle Trance, never mind. Alright, let's hope that this guy doesn't kick my ass. I'm gonna do Vulnerable. No, Blind does AoE. I didn't say Dark Shackles AoEs. I know Dark Shackles does an AoE, buddy. Let's do Regent Pot. Regent Pot with Magic Flower, guys. Let's take a look at it. Beautiful. Damn, dude. This guy is fucking me up. And the reason why he's fucking me up so bad is because, to be honest, I did kind of, uh... I did kind of make myself vulnerable. So I think I from Magicka, Flower, and Me in the Bone, right? Ori Calcum came in clutch. And now we can do some stuff. Oh, Dark Shackles. Yes, that gives me, that buys me time. Nice. Skip. What do you got for me? Entrench, 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 entrench. Another disarm? I don't mind it. Bag of marbles? I guess rid of the artifacts. I don't mind that. Chemical X? Doesn't do crap. Um, we're moving is good, right? So we do want to do like the disarm. I think we're moving is pretty good. And trip is not bad as AoE vulnerable if I upgrade it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna upgrade it. I can just take a bag of marbles. Get rid of the artifacts. Is that worth it? What about like bind, dexterity pot, power pot, and block pot? All of these things combined for both these bosses because there are going to be two boss fights. Now, <clears throat> let's hope that we don't take any damage here. All right, let's try to be our. Let's try to do really well in this fight. And then. We go into the boss fight relatively healthy. We have some potions to work with. I think for a power pot, I'm not going to use on the first boss. I think the only deck I can handle a prom. Against Awakened One, well, if, the thing is, if it's Awakened One, then I don't want to use the power pot there either. So, I'm thinking maybe... I'm thinking maybe I use the power pot on Dota Deca. Maybe I use the Dexterity Pot against the second boss. Well, this guy is not being very fucking kind. Mm, let's do Black Pot. Unfortunate, but... You have blocks of, blocks of conduct in your features right now. I suppose we embrace it, alright? We embrace the mean the bone. In order for me to get mean the bone, I have to do offering. So I actually need to find offering. So let's headbutt the offering. I need to do it to myself. Uh, don't want them to die yet. Please don't hurt yourself too bad. Please don't hurt yourself too bad. Okay, we do the offering. We get the uh, me and the bone, and we win the game. Okay, now Flame Barrier Plus. How about them apples? Full life. I forgot about the feather. We got this arm again upgraded. Beautiful. Now I said I'm gonna use the power pot for this one because if it's the awakened one, then yes, we got offering first turn and we got exhum. I might just do the exhum just in case. We got double offering and evolve. I mean that's absolutely perfect. So what do we get power wise? Got a damn juggernaut. You know what? I'll take it when it's free. That's a big old turn, but that's not what we want. Let's play all these cards that are pretty useless, right? And uh, let's see if we can get the barricade. They didn't find the damn barricade just yet. Okay, so let's play. Let's play that. And let's try again. 
They didn't find the barricade. All right, let's get rid of this wound right here. Get rid of some of that stuff right there. And let's try again. They didn't find the damn barricade. Okay, we have battle trance, right? So, battle trance. Yes! You made me use offer three damn times. But I found you. Now, we're going to go ahead and use the... Well, to be honest, actually, I don't know if I want to do body stem twice. I feel like I got to maximize... I will do body stem twice. This might be a rough fight, though. Yeah, you know, I should be... Okay, this Dark Shackles is going to be so damn clutch. I'm, I'm like, ec ecstatic about it. But I should be, um... Yeah, headbutting things like Shrugger and Shrug it off. I need to trigger these strikes. Disarm. Mm, disarm with this guy is perfect. Now, Flame Bearer is not bad. You can get the Weaken, which is probably good mitigation. But then there's Flame Bearer, which is damage and block, which turns into more damage. Disarm again. Yes, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, I want to get this. The, well, the wound is not a big of a deal. There's a plated armor in de deck. <laughs> There's a plated armor. Screw it, that. Battle Trance? Give me a body slam. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of the strikes. And now we get down with. We're, we got rid of most of our strikes, right? I believe we actually have no more strikes in the deck. And the deck's getting... We have evolved, so we draw out the days anyways. Oh, shit. He kills himself, doesn't he? He doesn't. Oh, my. Okay, what's the next boss, guys? What's the next boss? Awaken one. No problem. All right, let's find the damn... Um... Yeah, find the damn barricade. Let's do Shared Fire for this bad boy. Mm, I want to trigger the strike already. But I also want to trigger the rupture. The rupture is going to be a damn curse. Now, Metallicize. I don't want to play it just yet. I'll be honest. Alright, so we didn't get any of the offerings and any of the stuff like that. But if we get those next turn, then we should be fine. Alright, we got the barricade. Boom. We don't have a weekend, though. Okay, we got Disarm, though. And we can exhume that Disarm. Uh, just, just remember that we have Exhume. So, in fact, I'm going to headbutt the Exhume. In fact, I'm going to headbutt the Exhume right now. We're going to do Offering. We're going to Disarm. Now, I was going to exhume the Disarm again. How about this? Because we, we want a full block right now, let's go ahead and do this. That. We'll come back and do Exhumed Charm again. And that should win the fight. 100%. That should win the fight 100%. Because that is valuing a whole bunch of time. Let's kill this dude. And then you have Dark Shackles on, a, on those turns where I can save a lot of life. Metallicize? Is it worth it? Not yet. So this is a turn where I can do, get Dark Strikes, right? Boom. Get rid of some of these strikes. And then we just start stacking up. Uh, I can keep the, the headbutt. The headbutt I'm fine with. Man block. Trigger the defense. Do we want to exhume this arm again? I feel like. I mean, I could just exhume this arm again and get a little shit ton of block. 
I'm gonna get rid of the bash. Get rid of the strikes. No, I don't want to go for lethal though. I'm trying to get more block. But I mean, I could go for lethal now. Uh, that was a, probably a mistake. Because I was going to hit by something. Do I, do I do the exhume disarm on this guy? I feel like I do, right? This guy's a multi-hitter as well. Last strike. That's the last strike on our deck, guys. I believe we only have no more strikes, and the only things that we have are like clothesline and headbutt and stuff like utility. Like speaking, like speaking of the devil. Let's get sad cycle. GG, guys. Uh, Sanjan 20 has been knocked down. We got Body Slam. And we win the game. Alright, guys. Now, keep in mind, we did keep in mind... Ooh, 2,237 for Ascension 20. GG. Now, what's funny is that we... We did... Uh, we got Beyond Perfect. Hell yeah. We thought to ourselves, okay, so like, if it's Awakened one, we don't want to use the Power Pot. So I'll use the Power Pot on the... The Donut deck on that worked out pretty nicely. We got the Evolve. And then I said, I'll keep the Dexterity Power for the time here with the Waking Ones. So these are things that I had to consider. You know, I bought a whole bunch of potions. There was a lot of things I could have done. I said, I'll buy these potions. And the potions were pretty impactful. Uh, guys, I think that's, that's a good way to end this latest Spire section of the stream, guys. Extension 20 knocked out of the way. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful.